Testing, welcome. Ah, oh, damn it, that's not right. Stop. Okay, restarting.
Right, I got lots of fan noise here, which is part of the reason I'm uh, muted. But if you, if the noise is horrible, then just just mute the stream. Uh -huh. Let's try and improve it slightly. Noise, it's like a constant. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I'm working on a very large dictionary with a number of entries that are in a XML based format but they need to be converted to a different XML structure. So I'm doing XML to XML data remodeling and uh, in order to do this rather complex job I've developed a small uh, finite state network based parser to identify like subtree structures and then create like rules to replace those subtrees with different subtrees. So we have XML data basically or XML structured data that's sitting in memory as a DOM tree document object model tree, so a node tree. So this is XML like data, but each element and each text node is a node in a tree in memory. And the XML parser lets us specify rules, like find a CT element with a child that of type Flucker that has a type 8 dragon. Okay, so little that's a simple example. The actual I have to, and the, the, the job involves converting 113,000 entries. Well, 170,000 actually, but I've already done about 52,000 now. Um, yeah, and the the, the, um, the rules actually look more like this. So they, they're quite complex. This So this, this is a script format to identify rules of my own format, which I made in order to so this this text format is loaded by the loader yeah in C into a rule a graph a finite state graph with rules in which is like object oriented so there's virtual functions for testing conditions and for traversing nodes into child nodes And uh, the loader constructs the graph, reads the format, and constructs the graph. And then the parser, the parser part, takes the rules loaded into a graph and parses the in-memory DOM tree. That's that, the node rules, combined with the node, the eat node. I call the eat node, which is starts, yeah, well, it starts depending on what you're searching for. But uh, the uh, so the the concept of eating is just part, uh, when you parse you have like if you parse a string you know you you eat characters from the string as you parse them and uh, this doesn't parse strings it parses well it does but it it doesn't mainly parse strings it mainly parses DOM tree. So a tree of nodes. So instead of a, a instead of a string with characters I'm eating, I have a DOM tree of nodes with with nodes in the DOM tree that I'm busy parsing, eating. And that uses a stack to recursively 
explore millions of paths as it passes the DOM tree. So the eat node is a TC node, which is a, a C++ class that's used in memory to represent the structure. You know, node is a child nodes and so on. Um, different types of nodes, elements, text nodes, uh, elements kind of attributes, that's XML stuff. So yeah. Um, so basically the the rules test if we have a match on the current node we're trying to eat or parse and if we have a match then we advance to the next node or to child nodes if the rule is a child node rule checker which is what this indicates all right so what i'm doing now here is just quickly exporting a backup of how the entries look because before and after I start, when I run any conversion, I do that. Um, food to replace with. So if I change this rule. To append the the dot syntax, let's me specify. Um, oh, I should test this first on a backup. <laughs> Create a backup. Never run first the script on the live data uh, ever. All right, so we create a backup um, of the live data. Let's right click on a CT, find filter entries with nodes of any type that match parser, nodes of this type that match parser. So those are our placement rules. 2977 tag all. Now this is I'm running on a backup. So we're going to say on all the tagged entries, apply the parser match actions. So the parser match actions says replace with the match replace the matching node with this atrock and cr tab node which i just created a few minutes ago so I've created a new element type to hold these oh that's wrong 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 yeah that wasn't right it's a good thing i didn't write it on the live database it's a ct we want to replace actually well that doesn't matter actually but yeah, now there's a double um, new line check differences. We don't want any differences. Our before and after comparison must be identical. Well, unless it's an improvement, but in this case we don't. So I wanted to replace the CR actually. It doesn't actually matter, to be honest, whether we replace the CR with the CT. But then we have to do a pull rug on the CT. That one we should be discarding, and that one we should be replaced with. We have a discard rule, but not a pull rug rule. Okay, so that's it's um so the CT we want to replace with. So you can create a new rule. CT replace. And replace and then replace with this guy on there. LM CT Talmage Foo and the Foo. We just want to have a discard rule then. No, that's not right. What do we want to discard? We don't want to discard it because it's got child nodes we want. 
So actually we need a new new type of action. Uh, pull rug. And a pull rug. Pull rug. Uh, pull rug. I can help this for pull rug somewhere. Yeah, tip pull rug. I must actually test fix me check some of um dangling. I think uh anyway. I think uh, typical rug is defined in the descripts. Then, do we really want to pull rug? Because I think so. Pull rug on the CT, but this attributes. Yeah, it doesn't matter which we pull the rug on and replace with. I think let's pull rug on the um, fucker. We do pull rug. We do pull rug. So you pull rug on the flock. Pull rug is a special type of delete that keeps the children, but it bumps them up. By pulling the rug out, proverbially, and then whatever was on the rug remains. Give me the fan, it's probably got a problem. It's making a noise. P2 C2 replace replace with a dragon tier tab. C2 replace replace with a. So the CT with a child feed at pull rug. Who, who, um, fuck a pull rug. Let's not call it foo. Fuck a pull rug equals add a match string. Fuck a type a dragon. So what that means basically is. Let's load our backup again and I'll show you. We have a uh, you know, backups. We have Let's see how this thing structured look. Okay. This is C T which stands for courage return and tab. Courage return tab. That's really the styling information in a way. So instead of carriage return tab, we want a specialized element that generates a carriage return tab. So we identify CT with a flucker with the L attribute a dragon. 
And that's what this little rule does. So we're going to find all nodes of this type matching the parser. So it'll be 2,977. Tag all. I'm running in the backup. For all those, for all in the backup, apply the parser match actions. The parser match actions runs this stuff. Okay. If it says a dot pull rug, it pulls rug on the matching node. And if it says a dot discard it or replace with, it will replace the element with a different element, the matching element. It's really cool. It's extremely powerful. It's really, very, very, very powerful. Okay, so let's see what it did. Boom, that's what we want exactly. Look, I think we can see our tab. And the output looks the same, except for the color is slightly different by the looks of it, which is fine. I actually, I actually kind of want the color to be different. Oh, let me leave it for now. Um, I don't Now we do all the diffs to see if any look different as a result of what I just did. And I'm going to use the backup to compare. So all the diffs are going to show differences comparing the text output generated. So I've totally reversed it. Instead of an element that generates carriage return tab for the A-Dragons, that's expressions, I've used the filter parser to identify those, replace it with a specialized element, and that element has a smart style that automatically generates the carriage return tab. It needs more remodeling and refactoring later. Uh, what happened there? All the diffs should be zero. Oh, I didn't see what I was doing. Because I was talking. Yo, that's not good. Okay. Two nine seven seven. Why are there differences? Looks the same to me. So whatever done different. No, it's different. One two three four. One two three four five. Oh. Right. Eh? I think the reason for that is probably. That the five is wrong, it should be four. Um, I think I'm not sure now. Let's reload the backup. I think the fact that this five is a styling issue in the original, so this is the wrong way around. Even though in theory it should look the same as it used to, we have an exception. This should now not look the same as it used to because the way it used to is wrong. Uh, there's probably five. Yeah, that's space. I thought so. Um, so the flutter type has a space and actually shouldn't. And nobody noticed the space. Okay, flutter. Because if we if we look at actual a dragons, how they're supposed to look, mm, there's no space in front of it. Yeah. That's one, two, three, four. Those are non-breaking spaces. Okay. So it was actually wrong before, and nobody noticed. This was five little spaces instead of four. But it's important because I cannot do a before-after comparison. It's not important from a styling sense, who cares? But it's important because I can't run an automated comparison to make sure nothing broke. Because to my, my automated com before, I need to run, in order to make sure my script isn't breaking anything, I need to do before and after comparisons of the output to check that there are zero differences, or zero differences that aren't improvements. The, um, now I can't do that because every five spaces becomes four. It's easy to fix. We go to the Flucker. Uh, tipper on the live data 
me look for that when I made it space before. Shouldn't be there. Now it's four. Okay. Save and make another backup. Again. So that was four, now it's five. I wonder if I should make make it green as well earlier. Like I wanted to. Because that greenish colour, let's see how it looks if I do. Oh no, 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 that's going to mess with the styling. <laughs> Leave it like it is. Okay. Now we make a new backup. Or did I just do this? Okay, create a new backup. Luckily it takes less than 10 seconds now. Since I made those fixes to the backup speed. Why if I'm in fire? Oh, probably because I'm streaming. Right, so let's load the latest backup. Because we need to run this on the backup first. This also means I need to redo that full export. Damn it. Because otherwise I won't be able to... So let's start that as well. Otherwise I won't be able to compare. Okay. Do a snapshot. Last full before... I drag new... CR tab redo two. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go back to look at CT nodes. We find all nodes of this type matching the this pause rule. That's that should find these. Oh these not those, these I mean. And that's telling you it's going to replace this node with the Adrian CR tab and it's going to pull rug on this node. The I just want to quickly confirm that none of those pluckers have JDs or SW information in them. I think there's only one, if I remember correctly. That is zero, yeah. None of them have JDUSW, and I previously checked that none of the Adrian ones have tipper, type, ah, numbers. They either have number or type, but never both. We can use the details thing to confirm that. They are num either number or type, but never both. Meaning, long story short, that it's safe to do this replace story on them. Okay. So we're going to run the parser match actions. Once I've done this on the backup, then I must do it on the live database. And I also want to test that there are no more, I want to see if there's no more, any more interesting things left as well. In theory, there should be zero flockers. Oh, that's not true. There should be lots. But there should be none in the... Okay, let's do a show differences. Now they should be identical. Show difference, show all with differences. And that should, after a little while, take a bit slow. It should say it's filtered zero. Hope, 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 hope. If that says filtered zero, then I'm good to go on the live database. Zero, wonderful. So I'm good to go on the live database. But before, I just want to do a compare, just to double check. Documents, TLX. Just to double check what it's doing. Backups.
See if if this machine will go a little quieter if I put it in low lower performance. Uh, if it's not already. Um, Not going quieter. Huh? Alright, so my next question to myself is whether or not I want to run this on this machine or on the next machine. It's it's quite quick because there's it's only 3000, so I'll probably just run it on this machine. Once I've just compared the This, why is this taking so long? Gosh. Well, it's 11 million nodes and 206,000 entries in a complex. Actually, it's about, yeah, it's even more actually if you include the attributes. It should take long. Oh. 
finally 2977 different this one, this is what I want to see what it did so you can see what it's done CT plug JD script converted it to a drug and sear tab JD Yes, so I can run it on live, it looks right. I want to check one thing though is how many flucker type headings we have left. There shouldn't be zero, but there should be zero amongst the entries I need to convert. The I go. Oh wait, yeah, they weren't here. Wrong. Close, close, close. Nine five nine clear all tags tag all matches F five uh, filter tag then exclude those that have been converted already should be zero twenty four huh what is that Oh, yeah, I, I see why. CT flutter, that looks like an error. Oh, is it? I don't know. Not sure. I don't know if that's on purpose. But I'll need to check with the editors. But yeah, basically the only ones left then are preceded by C instead of, which just means carriage return but without a tab. So there's a styling difference on these ones. That's why they haven't been converted on purpose. Uh, so there's about 24 cases and I'll have to ask the editors if there's a reason they look different, if they're supposed to look different, or if I can uh, convert them with the rest. Okay.
Um, yeah, and the rest are um, in the 900 or so in the uh, filter tag again. I could convert them, but I think I'm just going to leave them and I'll run that script on the live database. Let's just to check that I'm running on the um, latest build. I don't know why I'm using Notepad, it's disgusting. Makes me sick to my stomach. Notepad. Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, something else is making me sick to my stomach right now. Not <laughs> any time. Notes of this type matching parser. Should be 2977. Filter tagged. Uh, hmm? Oh, not filter tagged. I mean, I know it's of this type matching parser. Tag all. And then right click. Grid local snapshots. Uh, he's making very bad jokes. That's lame. Okay. Um, apply. Yeah, apply parsimony actions. It's concentrate, man. You can screw up the state if you're not concentrating. All right. I'm gonna update timestamps on and apply parsimony actions. Right, so oh, this is gonna take a while. Look at that. Okay, while that's running, I suggest we. So while that runs, we want to start looking at the next step. Okay. Wow, it, it was so quick on the. And it
Try to delete me. Okay. So what's the next step? Let's see. Uh, I think the next step should be the C squares. Um, CT with a child through and a square equals LMC square. Right. Let's check C square elements full statistics to make sure it's got no attributes, no children, just to make sure it's always used just on its own with nothing else. C square, no attributes, just generates this bl block. Okay, square. C square. Let's check parent child. Be
Alright, leave us alone. What am I doing? Okay. Okay, that's still running on the live database. These saves are slow. I don't know why they're so slow. Um, okay. The actual conversion is quick, quick. And then this, this is 3,000 entries. Still, that's not a lot. I've, it could be the server's busy, though. They may be doing maintenance. Uh, okay, where was I? What was I doing? Uh, so I've got about 80,000 of these CTs, 82,000 of these CTs. By the end of the night, I want them gone. I want all of them converted to something else. C squares have no thing. So there's 9,318 C squares. I want to convert all C squares. Uh, the C squares. Um, Statistics, details, parents, always a C almost, except, what? What's going on? Uh, wait, uh, let's, um, clear tags, load the tag set of 113,000 entries to convert. And now we're going to do the same thing, but with tagged entries only, get the element details. Look, look, energy drink. I'll take a break just now and go walk to the rig ride on my motorbike to the, the garage and get some energy drinks or something. I don't normally like the energy drinks, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm exhausted because I've been dealing with a stolen wind yet. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> right, so there's one with a C, one with a folio lemma parent, one with a CT parent, both of which are probably errors. These these ones I need to deal with basically, which I can deal with them manually. Um, um by huh? What's going on here? 
Isn't it the same one? Oh, the parent is a CT. Yeah, right. So yeah, there should probably be a. There's probably supposed to be a C. I'll I'll make a little flag just to. Um. Um, so um, why not as the other one? It's uh, if I do that details thing again, then I filter on the photo of my parents, but there's 3,800 in 2,494 entries, but I can combine that by saying and tagged entries. And now I should get only one. Okay, control shift C. So these two entries have C squares with the wrong parent, which I'm going to manually just flag. I'm not even going to flag them, I'm just going to fix them. Yeah, I have something really big on my mind, but I really want to get this work done so badly. <sighs> Damn it. Both the C's and the CT's should disappear in and become other things. C means carriage return, generates a new line without a tab, and a CT means C tab, carriage return tab, generates both a new line and a tab. So they're styling, structural styling things. They used to be entities and I converted them to elements, so now I use the elements to create groups. And now I'm using group content in my new parser to turn the, the elements into other elements which have more specialized meaning and they generate the styling automatically. So there's 82,000 of the CTs that have flucker or yeah, I want to have them all converted by the end of the night. But the saves are so slow, I'm probably going to have to run it <sighs> maybe on the server itself. Alright, that 3000 is... I mean, it took that long just to do the 3000. Alright, show all the diffs. So I've done that 3000, now 2977 that I did earlier on the backup. I'm doing it on the live database. Done it now on the live database. Just confirming the zero differences. And then look at Andre. We're going to go fix zero. That's wonderful. Let's do file create a backup. 
And that's now in the live backup. Uh, look, why not a using an update timestamps? This C square and all its contents that should disappear. Does it make no sense there? In this, I'm going to use the new more functionality to, to tag that whole little row. I think. Maybe this entry should be manually checked. So what I'm going to do is add a C and then right click and use the new more functionality to paste tag nodes after and clear tagged. Huh? Ah, that was wrong. Not after. More tag till end of row and more paste as children and get tagged okay show differences and there should actually be differences that should now be a new line okay so that's look on ray and the other one was umvai I think we need to do something similar yeah I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but anyway C. What? Wait, oh no, they're all supposed to be C's. Let's just go back. Oh, that's right, it's a C. Okay. One below. And then this one, we're just going to do the same little thing. Right click, more tag. And we're going to. Right click. Um. Add a C. And right click more. Paste this children and clear tagged. And then move it up. Show differences. Okay. Guess that looks okay. Right. Now, edit plural tags. Now we load a tag set from file. Tag set, which is 113,000, we need to convert. And then for C square, I'm going to do again the statistics element details tagged entries only. <sighs> and that should allow us to just see. Two things. Firstly, they used parents of C square, which should only be a C, and the left siblings, which should always be nothing. And then, I need to do another replace, but I have to do it on a backup. But I first have to create a new backup because I need to add a new DTD element for them. The new DTD element is going to be called C square CR TR, no CR tab. And then there should be about eight or nine thousand, I think. Hello. So basically, we're going to change this to be a C replace um, C 
actually square. Square or C square? I don't know what the C stands for. I don't know where that came from because somebody else did that part of the job. Uh, so I don't even know what C is supposed to mean. Maybe C meant carriage return. I don't know. I'm just gonna say square C of tab. Or C square. C of tab, okay. So parents. Zero failure limit. Well, there's 5,398. Not as many as I thought. Okay. Always with a C parent. And the left siblings. Oops, yes, some. Um, that's correct. I think one nine. These are not correct. I think I know what these are, and I'm going to have to decide how best to deal with them. Uh, Seventy nine cases. Use a combining filter. It's these, which look like errors to me, actually. I th think there should always be a new line there, but I'm not... I'm just sure. What should I do with them? Like, that does not look right, does it? It's obviously an error. Okay. Is it? Mind you, sometimes I think it's obvious, but the editors have a different idea of what should happen. I'm probably going to leave them and then... Um, hmm. It's only 70 seven entries with these problems. So... I'm going to in the meantime, so let's concentrate now, C replace, don't replace with square C or tab, or SQR, yeah, let's call it SQR. Equals LMC, LM square and that will be a c square the rug which is um c square okay there should be about five thousand one hundred nineteen or what was it somewhere around there Uh, and there should be an underscore. Now that other thing doesn't exist yet. And there's two things we need to do there. C square. It must underscore uh, underscore square is your tab. That should become that thing. Uh, 
followed by tab. No, no, there's no tabs here. What am I doing? There's no tabs. This whole thing's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Um, hello. That should... No tab. No tab. Rename. Sort. Oh, but there should be a new line. Oh, no, but the new line should be first. Let's, uh, yeah, let's make it like that. Okay. Right, now I'm going to back up the live and now we're going to run the test on the backup. Should change about 6,000 entries. 5,000. 5,300, something there about. Open the latest backup. <sighs> Copy. Reticles. C replace. Dot replace the C square CR. C replace dot replace square R equals element C. With a child C square pull drag. C square pull drag equals element C square. Looks right. Okay. Put in next. Right click element. Pull this type. Uh, all of this type match matching the browser. 3321, that's way too low. Actually, no, it can be right. Yes, 5,420. Why is that different slightly from the 5,319? They should be exactly the same as the stats we saw. It could have to do with that 80 or so. Or there could be some... Three two one, alpha two oh. Hmm, what's happening here? CG place with a square pull rug. That's the wrong way around. No? Yes, no, we do want to replace that with. For this we want to delete. For pull rug delete, it's going to do the same thing because there are no children, so it's fine actually. But I'm just wondering why the stats seem a little off. Um, Five four two uh cases picked up by the parser. Five five oh two with eighty two. Oh there's slightly more because I fixed those two cases. Twenty two are fixed. 
Ähm. That tag set though, I was looking at the tag set. The tag set's a little out of date. And the tag set may also have been a little bit short. The tag set wasn't right. So, I'm going to trust this. Okay, I'm going to run it. Pause match actions. Top is nine, and I've still got eighty two thousand of these motherfuckers to go. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, right. Ooh, that is not right. Look at that. The structure looks right, so I know what. Yeah, the structure looks right. I think there's a small. I think I forgot to check one little checkbox. Should fix that. Square. Yeah, that. Boom. I could have sworn I ticked that. I hope I didn't untick a different one. Show differences. Identical. So yeah, that should do that basically. And show all all the steps. I don't know why it's not saving my credentials properly. Anyway. <laughs> Just do. It's recently stopped working. So this should shrink slightly afterwards. Okay. And let's do a compare. The compare is very slow, I don't feel like it. Let's just double check. It's better.
So 5,000 entries. So this 82,000, no wait, there's more than 82,000. The Cs, I've got to convert all the Cs and the Cts. There's 30, 31,000 Cs, 82,500 Cts, all must be converted. I did the eight dragging ones, which was 32,900, which was about 3,000. Now I must do the C square ones, which represent probably about 5,000 to 5,500 of them. 5,400. Is that the entry count or the match count? I'm not sure. Um, but you that's still a lot. <laughs> Most of them will be the um, the flucker, which I want to do last, because I also did the Sama styling once already. Okay, I just want to check that the tree, what it's doing to the tree view is right. C R. Um. So C, C, C square must become square C R, basically, and then the V G L C R must be the same. Looks right. Why does the output look different? I know, because Amazon in L semicolon becomes a new line. But I did it as a new line instead of the ampersand spine. It's minor. Square CR, just cross checking. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm going to start the live one. Should I do it on this machine or the other machine? Do it on this machine, it's fine. But oh, I want to change. If I need to run something else, I'll run, I'll run that on the other machine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, does it matter? Probably doesn't matter. Maybe it's better to run on the other machine. Oh no, it makes no difference. It makes a difference if I need to edit the C++ because the executable is going to be open. But I think I've got a way around that. Alright, VGLCR um, underscore square CR tick that little box okay save create back up now we unlock the database close this Make sure we're up to date on the build. Deluxe suite. Deluxe lib. So now I'm using a copy of the binary to load the live database so I can build in the meantime if I need to. In case I need to do a C build while this one's running on the script. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Okay, then I need to flag two things once I'm in the live database that and that. Okay. Maybe I forgot to flag that. Maybe that's why it was so slow. Because that could make it slow. Alright. Now, I want to look for all C's with C squares. So we're going to say 
match this type matching pause using dialog in that okay three three two one toggle and on these three three two one Tag injuries who reply the pause and match actions. Yay, now I need a tiny little break. Ah. Okay, well, this runs. I'm gonna take a break and take a walk. Taking a break. Thanks for watching. Right.